Twist, really appreciate you taking some time to chat with me despite the loss versus Cloud9. Um, I do want to go back to that map of Ancient. When I spoke to Rob before the game, he was saying, you know, it wasn't a surprise to see Cloud9 picking that out. Were there any surprises as they kind of delivered on that map that maybe you weren't anticipating from them? No, I mean, they haven't played it recently, but, you know, if you look back like six months or so, they are 5-0 and on the map. And, uh, I mean, maybe one could say that we just didn't have a good enough uh, game plan, how do we want, how we wanted to approach uh, Ancient. Uh, same could even be said for Mirage, really. Maybe we didn't uh, approach it in such a... We, you know, we could have put more effort into it. The same effort that we put like into Inferno, because it was we were really well prepared for them on this map. So yeah, just a uh, tough game. Yeah, was it just down to the preparations you feel like in those moments in the second and third map? Because Rops was also talking about, you know, the communication in that complexity game didn't really feel like the same phase that we've been seeing in the previous few months. Is that maybe an issue that was coming up here too? In general, I think our communication has been lacking since the uh, since the player break. Uh, that's not really an excuse, you know. It just, I think it just, uh, it just happens to be that way. And uh, it's something that we're trying to fix always. This is always the, you know, the hard part of an international team is uh, our communication won't always be 100%. And uh, as the native speaker, I try to, to do the most I, I can, but uh, I understand it's very, it's very hard for them to uh, communicate the things that you know, I would expect. And obviously we won't unfortunately be seeing you get in the Grand Slam title here. You will still have opportunities going forward. And when I spoke with you uh, before about it, about potentially, you know, being the two-time Intel Grand Slam champion, how's that kind of maybe affecting your motivation for it going forward now that you, you know, have one less opportunity to be doing that in the next uh, 10 consecutive events? I mean, it's still the same motivation. I always try my, my hardest, no matter what. And, uh, you know, uh, it's, uh, I'd rather lose to a very strong team today than, you know, lose to ourselves in in like the final, for instance, where it would hurt a lot more. So, uh, and yeah, I mean, Cloud9 played a really good game, and I think, uh, you know, just give everything for the RMR, make sure we qualify in a, a good position, and uh, win the major. Yeah, I mean, it's not too long, so the RMR is going to be coming up just next week. Are you guys going to be staying in Malta, just focusing on the practice here and coming into the RMR? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, we use this area as a, as a boot camp for now. Uh, kind of. Rough not making it farther in the event because now we, you know, the, the ping could be not so fun to play on constantly. You know, we have like 50 ping practice, but uh, it is what it is. And, uh, you know, put our work forward and uh, try our best.